Hi, I'm Jessica Jones, Associate Editor of Government Technology Magazine. In West Philadelphia, the School of the Future's opening bell rang in September of 2006, and the first graduating class of 2010 walked through the doors. For the past year, it has integrated technology into the daily lives of students and teachers. Each student receives a tablet PC, wireless internet access on campus, and broadband access at home. Though opened in conjunction with Microsoft, the Philadelphia School District paid for all the technology, as would any school equipping its students. Microsoft's contribution was not in money, hardware, or software, but in organizational expertise and consultancy. This wasn't about Microsoft money, this was about Microsoft smarts. What we benefited from Microsoft was they gave us their smart people. And their smart people helped us design this building, helped us manage the project, helped us design the classrooms, helped help show us how to use technology not, to not only improve the operations of the school, but to improve instruction, to improve student learning, and to improve the connection between the classroom and the home. Microsoft also supplies a full-time position on campus during the school week. Microsoft's role at the school district and at the School of the Future is definitely a work in progress. Right now we have someone who is stationed at the school full-time and his job is to really act as that liaison between Microsoft, between our technical teams back in Redmond, as well as be the face of Microsoft at the school so that when visitors come and they want to hear Microsoft's perspective or Microsoft's contribution, he's able to provide that. The school features a performance center with two hydraulically rotating lecture halls, which create small performing spaces for school and community shows, as well as smart card accessible lockers. And a water catchment system on the roof collects rainwater for non-potable applications. The building's glass windows and roof also include photovoltaic panels, which reduce heating and cooling costs by converting sunlight into direct current. This provides electricity to the building, and students receive real-time data to see the positive impact these panels have on the environment. The 170 freshmen who make up the school's first graduating class began their sophomore year this September, and school officials hope this new design will be a model for other districts. The School of the Future is part of Microsoft's Partners in Learning program, whose goal is to set up locally appropriate innovative school models worldwide, as well as throughout the United States, even if in bits and pieces. Microsoft's Mary Cullinane has more. You know, our goal has always been here in the United States to, to focus on the work in Philadelphia and then continue to build tools and resources that can be leveraged around the country. And so we've had over a thousand visitors come to this school. We've had over 50 countries visit the building. Uh, we've had folks from around the United States come and, and leverage elements of the design, elements of the instructional methodology, elements of the technology, elements of the hiring practice, different pieces of the puzzle they have brought into their own system. So there's pieces of the School of the Future all around the country as we speak. The School of the Future isn't meant to be a static structure. It's a place others can look to in helping them consider other options for addressing learning needs in a digital world. I think the School of the Future should never be complete. We think that the School of the Future should be a place in which we're constantly trying to push ourselves as a community, to push ourselves as we think about educating 21st century learners. And I think that, you know, it's going to be something that hopefully will look very different two years from, from today. For GTTV, I'm Jessica Jones.